So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is the very own mass code this side. In this video, we are going to discuss a question: number of good components, right? Number of good components. It is a question of graph, right? And let us discuss what does the problem say. The problem says that you have been given an undirected graph, right? As mentioned on in this figure, this is an undirected graph, and you have to return the number of good components. Now, the definition of good components is that they are strongly connected they are strongly connected strongly connected as in suppose this is my case three four five so this is one of the connected components right right the connected components means that if i am standing at any of the node then i can reach any other node that is five or four if i'm standing at three i can reach five as well as i can reach four directly or indirectly that is a connected component right we are clear with the definition of connected components if in a traversal it is possible to reach from three to any of the node then all those nodes make a connected component but the strongly connected component says that if it is possible for me to reach any node from every node within a one transaction right within one transaction that is each node each node pair should be connected by an edge each node pair should be connected by an edge that is if i am saying that i have three i have four nodes a b c d and i am saying that they are forming a strongly connected components then a should be connected with b by an undirected edge b should be connected to a a should be connected with c a should be connected with d now coming to b b should be connected with a b should be connected with c B should be connected with D, and similarly C should be connected with D. Then a, a, a connected, a strongly connected component of size four would look something like this. So I hope the problem statement is clear to you. Now let us move on to the approach. Let us move on to the approach. First, we we'll discuss what of uh, which one of these components are strongly connected. Okay, so this one is a strongly connected component, as you can see, right? Three has connection with four and five. Four has connection with three and five. Five has a connection with four and three, right? Okay. Talking about six, is six a strongly connected component? Yes, I will say yes. Six is a strongly connected component because only connected comp it is only uh, one node in the connected component, and yes, it is strongly connected. I can read six from n from six, right? That is obviously true. These two are, but what about one, two, seven? Is it a connected component? No, because it is one and seven does not have an edge in between. As simple as that. One, not one and seven does not have an edge in between. If there would be an edge, then yes, it would definitely be a strongly connected component. No doubt in it, right? So I hope you are clear with the question. Let us move towards the approach. So the brute force approach, as we already, uh, as we always discussed. So the brute force approach, the brute force approach of this question is quite easy, but yes, very, 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 very inefficient. What will I do? I will first find all connected components i am so take talking about only about connected components that is in the given figure one two seven six three four five that is one two seven is one of the connected components six is another three four five is another i have got three connected components now among these check if all of them are an existing edge or bit in or not right among these check if all of them has an existing edge between all of the nodes right or not right so i will traverse like i will go with i equals to zero till last and then j equals to i plus one till last and then i will check for this then i will check for this then i will check for this okay so how much time is required uh, o of v plus e for the traversal and getting the connected components is the first right i will get the arrays of the connected components using the first one and second one will be to check so that will be o of n square O of n square so time complexity of o of n square is getting consumed can we actually make it better can we optimize it that is what we are here for right we want the optimized version okay you are here for the optimized version you will get an optimized version how will you do it so i have the connect co components as one two seven another one is six another one is three four five right First thing I will notice about this question is that in this question my nodes are starting from 1. My nodes are starting from 1. Usually they start from 0 so I am just pointing it out that don't commit an error in the coding. It are, they are starting from 1. Second thing, second thing 
if I'm saying that our component is connected, if I'm saying a component is connected, that, that is I have x nodes in a connected component, in a connected component. See, it is clear that if I have achieved a time complexity of O of n square, I should definitely aim for the lower one, that is n log n or n, right? Now, in the BFS traversal, I use O of n, so it will be better. So, if I, it will be better if I am able to solve this question in one traversal only, right? So, I am trying to do that only, right? What will I do? I am saying x nodes in a connected component. Now, suppose my x is 3, right? So, what will my graph look like? It will look something like this. For 4, it will look something like this. For 5, it will look something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and each edge, that is each diagonal, right? I guess all the diagonals are drawn, right? Now, how can I draw a conclusion between edges and uh, number of nodes? My aim is to draw a conclusion between edges and number of nodes, right? Okay. So, if I see 3, what is the like what in the case of 3 what are the number of edges for 3 it is 3 for 4 it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 for 5 it is 5 edges on the top plus 1 edge, one diagonal 2 diagonal 3 diagonal 4 diagonal 5 diagonal 5 right that is 10 5 plus 5 gives me 10 okay so now if i try to think about it it is, it is actually pnc permutation combination what is it I have to select any two edges that is nc2 and they should have an edge that means total number of edges should be nc2 total number of edges should be nc2 total number of edges should be nc2 now I have got an approach I have got an approach what will I do normally when I have asked that I want to show the number of connected components what do I do I say that I will uh, my driver function is here right I have assume we have the adjacency list Right, what will I do? I will say I will make a visited vector. Visited vector. Now, let me change, uh, thicken, like, visited vector, right? Now, what will I do? I will say, because the nodes are starting from 1 and going up till V, I will say, go from 1 to V. What will I do? If my vector is not, my node is not visited, my node is not visited. That means, there is a possibility of getting a connected component here. So, what will I do? I will say, if BFS of I will send my adjacency list, my visited vector and my i. If BFS of ADJ with i, then what do you do? You will say answer plus plus. I will make an answer here for the number of strongly connected component as 0 and then I will just return answer. So what will happen? I will do something in the BFS, some modification in the BFS to get my answer. How? Let me draw the adjacency list, right? So here we are, I have drawn out the adjacency list and this is the corresponding graph and this is my visited array, right? Initially all of them are unvisited. So I will start with the visit of 1. I will start with the visit of 1. What will I do? I will make, I will just add a modification. I will say number of nodes, let us name it as num, which is 0. And number of edges, let us store in the edges, that is also 0. Now I will do the normal traversal. I will make a q, I will store int into it and I will q dot push start, q dot push start and then I will mark it as visited vis of start equals to 1 and now let me change the thickness right visited of start equals to 1 now while my queue is not empty while my queue is not empty what do we do the C side will be the BFS algorithm I will take out my node that is my node equals to q dot pop that is q dot front and then q dot pop I'm just mentioning it in short right now before moving forward, I will add the number of nodes because this node is getting traversed, right? This node is getting traversed in the BFS traversal. I will say in this component, I actually explored this node, num++ plus plus, and edges. How many nodes is this connected? So for one, it will be connected to two. That is, it, will, it, is, it is having a size of one, two, one, zero here, two, two, two. That is, edges plus equals to size in the adjacency list, adjacency of node dot size right and after that I will just push all the unvisited node unvisited nodes in ADJ node in Q right right now what will happen let us try to get an answer 
answer for that right so when i will start with one i will start with one what will happen my num is equals to zero my num is equals to zero my edges is also equals to zero right starting off now when i will start i will see q of q that is q will push my one into it okay i will mark it as one so one is visited now one has a one as as soon as i pop it out i will increment my num and i will increment it by one because the size of the adjacency list is one and then i will push all the vectors which are not in, uh, in the adjacency list so two is not visited add is present in the adjacency list of one so i will mark it as visited and i will explore two now i will explore two now because it has been in the queue while two two and two has a size of two so it will be three now two has a size of three two has a size of two so it will be incremented to three and one is already visited but seven is not visited so i will visit seven and then i will explore seven because of the queue and in the case of seven two is visited but i will still increment this and four i will still increment this and four so i'm getting number of edges as three and edges as four number of nodes as three and number of edges as four number of nodes as three number of edges as four now what other edges used here edges used here are first in the case of one i use an edge one comma two in the case of two i use two edges two comma one and two comma seven how i use two because i add the size of it so that is two comma one two comma seven in the case of seven i am using the edge seven comma two so you can see two comma seven and two comma seven are using twice but the edge is only one in the case of two comma one again twice but the edge is only one so i will have to divide the number of edge by two because they is count getting counted twice so edges will become two now i have got number of nodes and i have got edges so if this is a valid representation then my number of nodes nc2 that is 3c2 should be equals to edges now nc2 is actually 3 into 2 by 2 which is equals to 3 but my edges are 2 that means it is not a connected component but in the case of 3 4 5 my number of nodes will be 3 my number of edges will be 1 2 3 and 3 into 2 by 2 is equals to 3 and it will increment and same in the case of 6 number of edges will be 0 and number of nodes is 1 so 1 into 0 by 2 is equals to 0 and that will it will also increment my answer it will also increment my answer right so what i will say is i will say return uh, number into number minus 1 by 2 equals to equals to edges by 2 i can just do this right number into number minus one in two edges right that is all the problem you have to deal with time complexity same as bfs of v plus e no problem okay let us move to the code now here we are so i have been given edges as this so i will first make the adjacency list out of it so vector of int adj adjacency list now as i said it is starting from one so i will make it as v plus one you can also do minus one in the start in the uh, in the conversion of edges into adj but I am going with the uh, v plus 1. So, for int i equals to 0, i less than e, which is the size of edges, i plus plus. Now, first adj dot push, adj of edges, adj of edges, i 0 dot push back. What do I push back? Edges of i 1. And similarly, in the case of 1, I will push back 0 same right now moving on forward i will say i will make a vector of int let us name it as viz and it will go up till v plus one all of them are zero now for int i going from zero i up i will also make an answer right so int answer equals to zero for int going up till starting from one actually and going up till v plus one going up till v i plus plus if my bfs returns true I will send adj, I will send i, I will send viz in that answer plus plus and return my answer. Now the main handle is bfs, I will have to implement that correctly. Returning true and false, so bool, bool bfs taking my adjacency list vector of int adj and int start node and my vector of int visited. So first I will say int number equals to 0 
and my edge is equals to zero. Now q of int q q dot push start and make your width start as one. Now while my q is not empty, my node is actually equals to q dot front and q dot pop it out. Now I will increment my num num plus plus and edges will be incremented by the number of elements in the adjacency list. So adj of node dot size. Now for auto it in adj of node, what will I do? I will just push it in the queue if it is not visited. Visited of it q dot push it q dot push it and make it as visited also. Visited of it equals to one. Now I will just return return number star number minus one equals to equals to edges. Let us try to compile and run it now. Hope it will work fine. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to my channel. Oh, it is running fine for the sample test case. Let us try it for the. Oh, it is running fine. And I have already hit a one and a half century. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all your love and keep loving me and keep supporting me. I will surely bring out the best content in the future also. And please, please, please do some do show some uh, support on the lead code medium series also I am taking out. And in the short time, I will be bringing out the linked list lectures also. Okay. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.